G'day guys, hopefully now having a fairly good idea of what elasticity is, let's have a look at some of the factors that actually determine the elasticity for different products. So first we'll look at the factors determining elasticity of demand. And factor number one is the presence of substitute goods. Remember that elasticity of demand is a measure of how much the quantity demanded will change when the price changes. You can expect that if a good has lots of alternative options that act as good substitutes, then should the price go up, a lot of people will end up switching to the substitute goods, and as a result, the quantity demanded will drop rather significantly. And it can also work in reverse, if the price goes down, you could find that a lot of people that were purchasing the substitute good might suddenly swap to this one because it's cheaper. So for an example of this, try Coke and Pepsi. If Coke were to suddenly go up to become twice as expensive as Pepsi, would you keep drinking it? Now there are some people that will say yes to this because I've met some people that are staunchly devoted to Coke over Pepsi for whatever reason, but 